Hi, my name is Pablo Arredondo. I'm the co-founder and chief innovation officer at Case Text. And I'm here today to show you AllSearch, the new tool that we just released onto our Case Text platform. AllSearch began when we first created something called Parallel Search to better enable attorneys to navigate the case law. Parallel Search relied on this new technology called transformer-based neural nets, which enabled attorneys for the first time to free themselves from the mercy of the keywords that they happen to choose when they're trying to find case law. For the last 50 years, you basically had to guess the right keyword to try to find what you're looking for. With Parallel Search, those days are behind us, which is why I can search something like McVader's termination of Skywalker for refusal to wear a mask cannot be construed as discriminatory and find directly relevant case law that discusses the exact key concepts, but in different factual situations. So here's somebody refusing to wear a uniform or jacket. Uh, this had to issue of an employee cutting his dreadlocks. Uh, here, the safety apparel wasn't a mask, but was a hard hat. Um, and in this last one, it was improper brazen glasses. Very easy for us as legal professionals to see these and understand that they're conceptually basically identical. Absolutely impossible for computers relying on traditional keyword search to put these together. It was so well received when we released Parallel Search that very soon after our clients started asking us, can we take this technology and point it at the other documents that we care about? And the answer is yes. And so that's what led to all search. First, we tried it on eDiscovery. So what I'm showing you now is what happens when you take the same powerful technique, again, transformer-based neural nets, and point them not at case law, but at 20,000 real emails sent by real employees. And what you'll see, I searched, I feel uneasy about this. And none of the employees in this case, uh, this is from a public Enron corpus, None of the employees use those exact words here, but they did say, I'm uncomfortable with it. I'm kind of nervous. It feels weird. Still, it's unsettling. Uh, uh, you know, that scares me a bit. I have to tell you I'm conflicted about this. So many different ways to get at the same concept. And again, it's so easy for humans to understand that these are all the same, but it was absolutely impossible for computers to do it without neural nets, which is why right now it's absolutely impossible to do it without case text. More and more requests kept coming for different ways to use it. Folks wanted to point their transcripts at it. So we loaded up transcripts and saw how it did there. In this instance, I'm searching the uh, transcript of the uh, infamous Elizabeth Holmes. And I'm gonna search, when did the negotiations with Walgreens begin? Now a literal keyword search would probably bring back nothing or a lot of false positives here because the way the question was actually articulated was, so when did you first start discussions with Walgreens? Again, easy for humans to understand that these two things are the same, but computers just couldn't do it before we had this powerful technique. So more and more requests came in. People wanted to use it for expert reports, for uh, brief banks, right? for FOIA productions, more and more things happened. And finally, what we realized was what we need to do is make it easy for attorneys themselves to spin up their own engine. And that's at its heart what all search is. Click a button, and you're able to uh, select a use case, including other, if you have something that we haven't put on our list already, give your engine a name, decide who you want to have access, create the database, and then just drag and drop your documents. And simply drag and dropping your documents, they'll be imported, converted into this new type of format where this kind of search can happen, and you're off to the races. We just finished an extensive pilot with some select firms, and I can tell you that this technology is helping lawyers find critical evidence much earlier in the litigation. It's helping them be more efficient and more effective, both finding things faster and finding things they might have overlooked. We really hope you'll give it a try and experience for yourself what happens when you're freed from the keyword prison. Thank you so much.